In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of proof by contradiction by means of an example. So the questions ask us to prove by contradiction that if n squared is odd, then n must be odd. So there's a few steps to a proof by contradiction. The first step is assume true the negation, that's the opposite, of the statement we are asked to prove. So that's step one. So the negation of if n squared is odd, then n must be odd. Well, to find the negation of that, we think about what we need to show to disprove that statement. So if we found, for example, a single value of n that was even, such that n squared was odd, that would disprove it. So if we found an n that was even, such that when we squared it, that would disprove that statement. So that's what we're going to assume to be true. So assume there exists an even integer n such that n squared is odd. Step two, use this statement to derive a nonsensical mathematical statement also known as a contradiction okay so we know that n is even so let's write that in a different form any even number can be written as two times an integer where m is in the set of numbers z which is all the integers so that says m is an integer okay so if n is 2m then if we square it n squared is 4m squared 2m times 2m is 4m squared which we can take a factor of 2 out of therefore n squared is even step 3 state a contradiction has occurred So we found that n squared is even, not odd. Therefore, a contradiction to the assumption that n squared is odd. And step four, conclude that the original statement therefore must be true okay so conclude that the original statement must be true therefore if n squared is odd n must be odd and there's the proof done 
But now let's analyse exactly what it is that we did. So first of all, the question asks us to prove by contradiction that if n squared is odd, then n must be odd. Well, we actually assumed the opposite was true. We assume that there exists an even integer n such that n squared is odd. Now, at this point, you could have fallen into the trap of thinking that the opposite of the statement, if n squared is odd, then n must be odd. You could have fallen into the trap that the opposite of that statement was, if n squared is odd, then n must be even. But that's not the case. The opposite of that is the counterexample that disproves it. So if there exists an integer n such that n squared is odd, then this statement can't be true. So assume the opposite. We then derived a nonsensical statement from this nonsensical assumption. So looking at this here, we'll let n equal 2n. We assumed that if n was even, then n squared could be odd. We proved here that a contradiction occurred. If n was even, we proved here that n squared had to be even also. That contradicts this statement here. Therefore, it can't be true. Therefore, the opposite must be true, i.e. the original statement we asked to prove must be true. So a little bit complicated, but again, the essence of this proof, assume the opposite's true, show that that makes a nonsensical statement which disproves it, therefore the thing that you were originally asked to prove must be true, so we're disproving the opposite, i.e. proof by contradiction. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.